the true Mackham is back again for transfer rumours. Yes, it's that time again, guys. It's that fucking time again. Whew, blimey. So, we've been linked heavily with, um, I believe it's pronounced Le Lemon Kone. Um, there as well from uh, Lorient in France. Um, now, we've had a bid accepted. Uh, I believe it's, um, I'm not sure whether it's a loan. I believe I've read somewhere it's been around six million. Whether that's true or not is, well, we don't know. We don't know what we have for a budget, do we? That's for sure. Um, yeah, uh, centre back as well. So, uh, as as far as I know, uh, they're still trying to agree personal terms. It's not dead in the water yet, but it's going to be interesting to see whether we can get it, as they say, across the line, and you know. Get those dotted lines signed. Um, another interesting one is uh, Jan Kirchhoff from Bayern Munich. Um, and again, according to reports, it is around, believe it or not, for a centre back who's 25 years old, 25, 26, he's in his last year of his contract at Bayern Munich, £750,000. Really? What a fucking steal. And the thing is, He's not even a half bad centre back either. He'll put Coates and Brown. You, you combine Sebastian Coates and Wes Brown to have um, Wes Coates. Hey, <laughs> see the pun there? Uh, yeah. Then um, yeah, he would. I tell you what, that wouldn't even be half of what he's capable of. Put it that way. Um, now he spent uh, a lot of time out on loan. I believe to Sch Schalke. I believe it is. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see whether that deal is actually true because from everything I've read and seen and heard of in the next 24 to 48 hours that deal should be done fingers crossed decent centre back at fucking last a proven centre back at last as well uh, and obviously a bit of good news for every Sunderland fan because this isn't going to be a long video a bit of good news for every Sunderland fan at last at fucking last guys Liam Bridcut is you know what, he's pretty much got both feet out the fucking door. He's fucking off to Leeds, thank God. Let them deal with the Muppet. You know, I did, you know, I gave Brick Company when he first came, it was the benefit of the doubt. I thought, okay, you know, got a lot of pace. Uh, you know, he can maybe bring something. <sighs> Besides the pace, nope, fuck all. Literally. Oh, sorry, no, no, he has contributed to a few things. Constantly giving the fucking ball away, which has led to God knows how many fucking goals for a start. So yeah, he's lead, he's going to be Leeds' problem now. Thank fuck for that. He's pretty much out the door. Should be done by the end of the day, really. So happy fucking days. Um, yeah, uh, and the other one, which is a bit iffy one, haven't heard too much on it. And this is the final one. Is I believe it's Stephen Colker from QPR. Uh, again, centre back. I don't know. I don't know whether we should be signing championship players. Whether they've been in the Premier League before or not. I just... We went down that road before, didn't we, guys? With fucking Gus Poyer. Oh, my God. And De Canio. Signing all these low-grade fucking foreign players. All these, you know, these... Could be, maybe, championship players. Don't want him. Do not want him. You know? We've just got to steal the fucking season that's going through now, you know, £750,000 for a fucking centre-back from Bayern Munich. You know, one of Europe's top elite clubs, you know? Um, so, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what's going to be happening uh, in the next, uh, well, in the next couple of days, to be honest, but obviously you'll hear about it on here but when it gets announced. Believe you me, guys, that's for sure. So that's pretty much it on the transfer side of things. Um, uh, Players-wise, backroom-wise, we are, I can't remember his fucking name, but um, we are looking to swipe one of uh, Big Sam's former head coaches from uh, Leeds United, ironically. I swear it's from Leeds United. So, yeah. Um, yeah I was going to go into, uh, for what I've, again, what I've read and what I've heard, I believe he's going into the head scout position, so, which would be good for transfers. Didn't do too bad for West Ham when he was with him there, did he? New Surrey Jim. So, definitely going to be very interesting to... Uh, to watch this space, especially over the next uh, next couple of days, that's for sure. So, guys, as always, let me know what you think. Leave your comment below. If you haven't subscribed, you know where the button is. Press that button now, right now. Don't click off the video. Press the button now. Subscribe. 
And yeah, well, I'll keep you updated if there's anything afresh. Fingers. Fingers fucking crossed. Oh, could we not sell Coates? Pretty sure one of the under 21s could do better. Or exchange him. I'd settle for that, that's for sure. <laughs>